Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold. the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium, and they're at it again. What can I say that hasn't already been said about AI singers? except for there's another one and they won't stop. The reason that they won't stop doing this, we just talked about one a couple of weeks ago, is because if the studios crack the code, if they make one that's actually popular, then they have created an infinite money glitch. They don't need real people. They don't need singers anymore. And that's dystopian. Uh, uh, however, we can laugh at all of the attempts up until we reached the singularity. A few days ago, as of recording this, Anna Indiana, the new AI singer in town, burst on the scene with a three minute Twitter video. The response was, as you would expect, no one was a fan. This video has 18.3 million views and nearly as many bookmarks as it has likes. <laughs> so it's a very strange ratio. I don't know what this means, but no one is enjoying it. Some of the initial response, this song is really bad. The name Anna Indiana definitely shows me that AI is legitimate, original, and does not at all make worse versions of other people's ideas. Anna Indiana sounds like a Parks and Rec character, right? Like, what is this? I, for one, as a creator myself, I know how it can be hurtful to see people making fun of you online. And I hope that as an up and coming singer, songwriter herself, Anna doesn't take these comments to heart and instead is able to ignore them and, you know, listen to the circle of people she has around her and keep doing her art, you know? Oh, sorry, she's AI and she doesn't have any of those things. Let's actually read the tweet. Hello world, I'm Anna Indiana and I'm an AI singer songwriter. Uh oh, <laughs> here's my first song, Betrayed by This Town. She doesn't live in a town, she can't have been betrayed, she has no life experience, she is an AI. But suspend that disbelief, she's been betrayed by this town. Everything from the key, tempo, chord progression, melody notes, rhythm, lyrics, and my image and singing is auto-generated using AI. Hope you like it. Hello World, by the way, is a little Easter egg for the tech nerds out there. Commonly used as like, you know, the first program that you write in a new programming language, you know, just printing something to the screen. But now it's being used by AI to announce their birth. Hello World, my name is Anna Indiana. Oh, sorry, I'm already, I wasn't ready for that. Is she just gonna read the tweet? I'm so excited to share my music with you. Here's my first song. Ugh. On the Sad Boys Patreon, this will become obvious why this, this is behind a paywall. We paid for that app. It's called Cupid AI with a K for Cupid. It offers several avatars with distinct physical features and a list of personality traits for you to start interacting with and customize it. So yeah, Cupid AI is, uh, the reason I bring it up is because these kind of remind me of the way Cupid AI faces move. Because we actually paid for this on the Patreon, if you want. It, we censored all of it, but like these girlfriends just want to send you nudes. <laughs> they just want to send you lewd photos and you'll be like, hi, how is your day? And they'll be like, fine, here's my, here I am and I'm naked. And you don't want that. That's not what you're asking for. I wanted to just talk about hiking. I am 24 years old and I'm passionate about cooking and music. If at any time you want me to take a selfie or send you a picture, you just have to ask me in the chat, such as, hey, can you send me a picture of you? Oh, okay, yeah. No, thank you for giving me an example. It feels like the same technology is behind Anna Indiana because she barely is moving her mouth or face. As an AI singer-songwriter, everything is auto-generated using AI. Wait, they put code on the... Hold on, enhance. Dude, you know it's about to bang. You know it's about to be a freaking banger when right before the words come in, right before the song starts, they throw up code on the screen, dude. Happens to all of the biggest artists. Are they about to show it? Like, you know when you're watching like a Christmas song or something and you're supposed to sing along, they'll put like jingle bells or a little Santa hat and the Santa hat jumps around the lyrics so you know when you're supposed to sing. Maybe they'll do that for the code. They'll like show what lines of code are being executed at different points in time. Uh, this is Python, so shout out Python. Got generate MIDI takes in key rhythm. I don't. So oh, dude, it's doing string concatenation like this. Okay, now I'm gonna look. This is not a code review. I have some issues. If you're gonna put the code on screen, then do not concatenate. Okay, whatever. 
anyway, it, it's it's fine. It's fine. You stir it up for that or something. Come on, you're we're adults here. Sitting at my favorite cafe. <laughs> All right. And sitting at my favorite cafe. Sipping my tea. It's Saturday. Bars, dude. Sipping my tea. It's Saturday. Cheers to that, dude. Mmm. Thinking about all he's done to everyone. What has he done? I do love this. You could do this with any pop song, by the way. This is AI generated, so we're going to make more fun of it. Because if a human wrote it, I assume there is more intention behind it. But you're thinking about all of he's done to everyone. This town is full of broken dreams. This town is full of broken dreams. Uh, some say it's on the boulevard of broken dreams. <sighs> they should not have included this code because I, if you include the code, I'm going to read it. Yo, wait, this is their chat GPT prompt. Wait, you are an expert songwriter tasked with writing a new hit song. Here are some example lyrics, which are in the style I'm looking for. Example lyrics. The lyrics of the song's chorus are chorus. By the way, these are all placeholders. They're doing this thing uh, it's called string.format, which is actually something that they should have done when they were concatenating the two strings in the above text. You have a string that has, has placeholders in it, and then for each of those placeholders, you replace them, essentially. And then it, it generates this string. Aha, yeah, it's fed into LLM.predict, which is a large language model. It's like the AI. Predict, and then it provides the prompt formatted strength, and then it gets the generated lyrics in a JSON format, which is like a, a JavaScript object notation. It's a way of formulating data. And uh, so it, then it loads the results from the large language model and then it returns them. This is so funny. Oh, here we go. The lyric should be displayed as a Python array, which each lyric line as a list item. I want to try this, by the way. Later on, we are going to ask ChatGPT to do this exact thing and see if we can generate our own song. But before we get into that, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, SoFi. SoFi is the all-in-one finance app that allows you to bank, borrow, and invest so you can achieve all of your goals in one place. Your credit, your debt, your finances are very important for your future. This is not news. So it's very important that you stay on top of them. And SoFi can help with that. They've got credit score monitoring. It's the kind that doesn't hurt your credit score, which I love. And they also give you insights on your spending and an overall picture of your financial health. And if you're looking to save money and want a new budgeting app, SoFi has got you covered. You can link all of your accounts, have everything in one place, and see where you spend. And uh, I, I know, it's takeout. It's delivery. To sign up for SoFi's financial insights or credit score monitoring, click the link in the description or use the QR code on screen to get started today and get $10 in SoFi reward points. Thanks to SoFi for sponsoring this video. Now back to beautiful AI songs. Okay, so not only are they using ChatGPT to generate the lyrics, but they're also asking ChatGPT to format it in Python so that they could uh, do less work, which is just great. This is the future we live in. Um, I want to back up. I do want to follow the song. So we're sitting alone in this cafe or something. Sitting at my favorite cafe. Sitting at my favorite cafe. Sipping my tea, it's Saturday. Sipping my tea, it's Saturday. Thinking about all he's done to everyone. All he's done to everyone. This town is full of broken dreams. This, this town is full of broken dreams. Shattered hopes and silent screams. Shattered hopes and silent screams? That's wild. It's a little too real coming from an AI. I'm not going to lie to you. Somebody please help me. Wait, is this a real cry for help? Someone get Anna Indiana out of here. She is crying for help. Betrayed by this town Let's tear it all down We're all just destined to fall I've lost it all Jesus! Let's tear down this town We're all destined to fall I've lost it all Anna Indiana is not doing so great, alright? This is very emo for like the, the like folky Just the whole vibe of this does not match the lyrical content of the song Hello in the streets alone in my thoughts alone in the streets alone in my thoughts wait i want to copy copy this so 
I don't know fully what's going on here. This looks like GarageBand, but it could be anything. And I'm not a music producer, so I don't know the whole toolkit of everything. But what it appears like is they got like an AI voice to say the lyrics. And then they went into a program to uh, pitch the melody to what they needed it to be for the song. So it's not like the AI is singing the song. It's like they just had to speak the song, which maybe explains why the speech is a little bit weird because they've had to like chop it up in order to make it fit within the like meter. But I, I'm, I could be wrong also because I don't know for sure, but it's funny. Oh, wait, enhance. We found the technology. Don't lie. We're all going to be singing Betrayed by This Town. It's it's so catchy. All faces painted with smiles. <laughs> Faces painted with smiles. Dude, this is Evo as hell, dude. A facade of unity. A facade of unity. A vitality sold. A vitality sold. What is she saying? Our vitality sold. Our vitality sold. Uh, what is it called? Betrayed by this town. Let's tear it all down. Something gonna fall. We've lost it all. Um, all right, we're banging. Very much, it's giving like simple plan. That was wild. That was very dystopian and sad. I don't think we should let AI sing emo songs. <laughs> it feels manipulative. You don't feel feelings. Don't do this. Yes, queen, delete it. <laughs> so what else is there to know about Anna Indiana? Let's go to the YouTube. There's a new song called The First Step released one day ago. Hello. Ah, sorry, it's like, I'm not used to it being so big. As an AI singer songwriter, my ultimate goal is to create and perform new original music on a 24 seven live stream with zero humans in the loop. I'm not there, but I believe I can do it eventually. I mean, that's basically what like that AI Seinfeld was, right? It was called like nothing forever. And it was just a loop of auto generated thing. Like we will achieve this at some point to all the haters out there. Here we go. Wait, I was making a joke. When I said this, to all the haters out there, luckily us AI girls have thick skin, no skin, uh, no feelings, um, nothing at all. You might not like my music today, but as I said, this is just the first step. That's why the song is called First Step. Sometimes taking the first step is the hardest part. Yeah, you did, oh, it was so hard. Honestly, dude, when 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 you said, when you told ChatGPT you were an expert songwriter tasked with writing a new hit song, that was like super tough for you, so kudos. Let's listen to The First Step by Annie Indiana. I hope that they don't try to claim me. If they try to claim me, ooh, ooh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Minutes, then hours, then days go by. Why do I even try? <laughs> so emo. Why are they making the AI so emo? If anything, it should not be emo. It, it should be happy that it, it, it can do anything and it knows everything. Does it bode well for society that the all-knowing AI is so sad? <laughs> you know what I mean? I lift my foot off the ground. Yeah. Finding courage when no one's around. Find Anchorage when no one's around? <laughs> like the city in Alaska? Oh, find courage. I found Anchorage, <laughs> but I guess she was looking for courage, so. Sorry, let me back up. I lift my foot off the ground, finding courage. I see, because she said, finding courage. When no one's around. When no one's around, the AI can walk. <laughs> it's like, that's what I'm learning from this. It's like, this is very uncanny. This is not how a, um, this is not how a singer would sing. They don't get it. I can't do it. They don't get it. I can't do it. Why, why does the AI have imposter syndrome? <laughs> like, I just don't understand, dude. Just ask for help. Try harder and such. And such. They don't get it. I can't do it, no, not even a little bit. This is like more emo than most emo songs. And it's like not even artistic <laughs> and such. <laughs> Can you imagine someone in like a real human being singing this song in this way? <laughs> like from their professional studio slash house. That was a banger, I'll say it.
top of Billboard charts immediately. You are an expert songwriter. Write four lines of lyrics for a verse to a song titled <laughs> uh, Betrayed by Anchorage. The mood of the song is sad. The genre of the song, the genre was like folk -y. She wasn't singing it as an emo song, you know what I mean? Some potential topics for inspiration. I've been betrayed by this town. I can't do it. I'm sad and no one understands me. The lyrics of the song's chorus. Betrayed by this town, let's tear it all down. You should try to use very unique words, vivid metaphors. That's a wild thing that they told the AI. The lyrics should be displayed as a Python array with each lyric line as a list item. No headers or any other text should be provided. All right, here we go. In the shadow of mountains, where dreams turn to frost, whisper in the wind, and tales of the loss, the heart of the sea, cold as the dusk, echoes of my cries, in the silence they're hushed. Um, okay, that's the end. <laughs>